Hey, welcome back to another episode of Revamped Outdoors. My name's Elliot. On this channel, we like to do 3D printing for the outdoors, mainly fishing lures. And I thought to myself, what can I do for a video idea? I got a bunch in the queue that are working. I'm working on them, editing and stuff like that. But for right now, what can I do? I'm going to try and push my limits. I'm going to try and design as many lures as I can in 60 minutes. So we're going to do it for one hour. I'll put on a timer on my phone and the alarm will go off. When it's off, it's done. So I'll try and recap it a little bit at the end, each lure, and then I'll try and edit this, edit this video down to about 10 minutes, something that's a little more consumable. And then I'll also put a link down below for the unlisted video where I'll just put up all six, 60 minutes of it, the full hour, if that's something you wanna see, kind of the intricacies of each bait and stuff like that. So. I'm going to shoot for as many as I can. Don't know how many that's going to be. Hopefully it's going to be a decent amount and hopefully this will turn into something entertaining and I won't just get frustrated, storm off in the first 20 minutes. So we'll see. The first two I'm going to kind of cheat on a little bit. They're going to be from Instagram uh, suggestions that I got from an Instagram user. Um, but after that, I'm just going to wing it. I haven't sketched anything out. I'm just going to take it all off the top of my head. What comes out comes out. So kind of like more of an artsy video, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to get comfortable here. I'm going to lower my chair a little bit. That's really low. That's all right, though. I think it'll still be fine. We'll still be all right. He's got the mark here for three inches. So I'm going to go back into my canvas. I'm going to calibrate that to three inches, which is about 75 millimeters. So we'll do... Uh, maybe like 78 millimeters, something like that. I'm going to do a control point spline. Always been a fan of the control point spline. Just makes life pretty easy, I think. And he wants this core with some ribs. So I think what I'm going to do is bring that out just a bit so it's a little bit bigger. A little bit thicker. I'm going to connect that down to there. I wonder if you could do a point. Let's try it. Let's do a point right here and I'm gonna do a rectangular pattern with this point Two. there we go we'll increase that all the way up until we get up to the top that's way quicker that's way quicker I don't know why I haven't been doing that before okay so now what we're gonna do here is just do a revolve around that axis there right here it's going to create that like that I'm just going to modify and scale it I'm going to go non-uniform I'm just going to squish it down just a bit he wanted this one to be flat so all I'm going to do here is edit this sketch again the body's going to go away naturally but what we're going to do here is just Grab those two. I'm going to mirror that. Put it on the other side. I'm going to finish the sketch again. He wanted that flat. So all I'm going to do is press pull this. I'm going to move it down like here. Something like that. Maybe a little bit higher. And what we're going to do is we're going to loft in between this and that top of that. And it's going to create, it's going to interpret interpret where we wanted it. There we go. It's kind of like a little end there. I like that. That works. And we're going to fill it. And we're going to try one and see if, no, not going to work. Sometimes that happens. 9.9 nine might work, though. Look at that. We come in here. I want this filleted just a little bit. 0.99 on there. There we go. There we go. Now we got something working. That's all right. That looks good to me. Plus we're on a time crunch, so looks just fine to me. So we say that. There we go. Create another sketch here. I think I like the side profile of this side better. I'm okay with that. And I'm just going to end it right there. So I don't mind that too much. We're going to go here to here. We're going to cap the nose cone off there. We'll made it right there. And I think for the purpose of this, 
we will probably end the ribbing at I'm thinking about right here just because otherwise it'll be too small to be practical we're gonna see how many we get to the top and I think that one will be pretty close yeah okay so then we're gonna say okay we got all our points two millimeters apart we're gonna come in and we're gonna hope that the computer doesn't take forever to do these ones oh look at that and every time it's like he actually sketched it out or something so we're gonna use that as also on there we're gonna revolve that around this axis and we have our body Point nine nine is gonna work. Hey -o. hey -o. say okay. So what I'm gonna do is modify that right now with a scale, non-uniform, and we're just gonna shrink this in a bit. I don't know about that much. That seems a bit excessive. So something just like, just about like that. Okay, and then this is a little weird, I know, but bear with me here. What I'm going to do is I am just going to use this as a cut tool. And it's just going to be symmetric on there, like that. Uh, move this one to this. So I'm going to do a sketch on that again. There we go. I don't like that either. Let's go 13. I like that a lot. So then there we go. We got that right there. I'm thinking we need a little bit bigger. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Bigger, smaller on this? I'm going to go bigger. I'm going to go 18. Oh, yeah. I like bigger paddle tails. Okay, now that's easy now. Now that's just a function of, hey, check this out. We got an ellipse on this surface. We just pull it out three millimeters. Three millimeters is always good for a tail, I found. I don't know why. I'm going to join that now. Then we're going to hit this side and this side with a f with the fillet. And it's going to be 1.5 to make it round. There it is. Then it's going to meet up on that one too. Ooh, doggy. Look at that. I think that might be a good bait. So uh, now we're starting off from scratch here. Now we're just starting off from uh, what's in my head. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't even know. What are we doing? Let's design a crawfish. Let's do a craw. I love craws. I want to make a similar craw to the one I've done in the past, but we'll do a little smaller this time. So we'll go like 2.3. Here's the crazy part about fusion, right? You want this ball to be everywhere. Too bad. Not getting that ball to go everywhere. This is not happening. Here's what we got to do. We got to go through a convoluted deal. to revolve that into a sphere. Stay with me now. Stay with me now. The reason I do that is because... Fusion will let you do a pattern on a path with a body. It'll let you do it with a body, but it won't let you do uh, you won't let you do it with a with a sketch all the way up to the top. But I want a bunch of those, so we're just gonna, and it'll evenly space it for us. Create another sketch, right right meow, and then we need to do a project on an intersect geometry of all these guys say okay then if we remove them we have those in our sketch isn't that crazy doesn't that not make any sense I'm gonna open that sketch up and all I'm gonna do is select those two I'm gonna do a control C then I'm gonna come into my other sketch that we already have here I'm gonna open that back up then I'm gonna paste that back in I'm gonna say okay so then at least I know it's in there now that ain't gonna do it there we go. There we go. Get rid of that one. Then we can create a revolve. 
my favorite tool ever in Fusion 360. We got that all set up. Now what we want is a nice scaled down crawl. So I'm gonna do the front. I'm gonna do non-uniform because that's how I roll. I'm gonna bring it down to like that. He's pretty fat though. He's still fat. More sketches the better. People are probably freaking out like, why don't you have this on a component and stuff like that? Hey, you know what? You know what? You don't need that all the time. You don't need that all the time. Here we go. We got another sketch here. We're going to do a fit point spline. We're going to make him have some big old craws. Have some have some paddles on it? Let's do it. Let's make some paddles, huh? We're getting a little fancy here on this, but that's all right. We'll, we'll, it'll be all right. I think what I want it to do something like that that'll that'll be okay I think that'll be okay so I'm just gonna create a mirror within my sketch still I'm still within my sketch I'm gonna do a mirror like that so then I got two halves you press pull this up we're gonna do a symmetric uh, like I said before I really like three millimeters oh geez yeah but it's symmetric so I really like three millimeters uh, just seems to work really well so I'm gonna do three millimeters there so we'll do 3.5 that'll make those go up about two uh, two above that because it is one and a half from that area and we're gonna join those in together there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect all these with a combine we're gonna join we're gonna go we could go into here and do all of these which I guess we'll do because we are making a bait there we go point six there we got two meeting up big old big old craw real quick here I don't have that much time yet so let's do a real easy like grub style bait do something like like that 0.5 circle let's see if we can't get that to work because it's straight right so let's see if we can't get that to work with this because we have this already set up so if we do it like that There we go. We can. That freeform select boy. I tell you what. Frustrating. Create a revolve. Look at that. And then what we're going to do is just do a big old tail. Because this is a big bait. So we need a big tail on it. Here. I don't really like that. We gotta move that around. Ideally make that as straight as possible. That's not bad actually. If we did an arc, three point arc. Ooh, I got one minute left. Ooh, I got one minute left. Ooh, that's a tough one. Down something a little bit more like that. It'll work. Oh. Oh, I want to finish this one. And I know that seems weird, but just trust me on it. It'll make sense in a second. I'm going to press pull this. And the only reason I'm doing this is to get my face plane here to create a sketch. And the only reason I'm doing that is to do this tiny little one right here. That's the only reason. And it'll make sense in a second, I promise. because what we're gonna do here we're gonna loft this to that little one yeah, 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 yeah. then we're gonna join this see how that worked out see how everything works out in the end folks see how everything works out in the end I'm gonna press pull this one up I think two is probably good yeah I think two is good and then we can move that 
down into this like that. Wall snap. Cool part about Fusion 2 is I don't really like this bend at all here. You know? So I'm just going to go in there. I want to mess with this. Oh, yeah. Much better. That's what I'm talking about. There. Now what we can do is do this number. Modify combine. Right? Right? Am I right? Am I right? And then all we have to do here is hopefully do this and see what happens. Oh, ho, ho, ho. like a boss. If we do one, what happens? Nope, freaks out. Bet you if we do that, though, it'll work. Hey, oh. And then boop. And then boop. Yeah. So, just to recap here, this is the Cata Ned rig that we did first. Um, I'm not quite sure if I should have uniformly spaced that uh, or change the body around a little bit but that's all right mostly a straightforward design nothing too crazy here just knowing to split that up at kind of where you wanted to go it always does help to have a canvas which is really nice and he did have uh, some measurements in there so it does aid in the design quite a bit so uh, as far as design goes only thing I would really change on this is maybe make it a little bit sleeker or maybe make it a little bit smaller uh, that's why I tried to shrink it down a little bit uh, sideways, so it's more of a fusiform. But overall, I'm sure it'll have great action. Uh, it's pretty difficult to make this work, I think, in a mold. You're going to need a lot of sprue holes here. Uh, you'll probably get some denting on the top, but, uh, you know, hard designs never stopped anybody before, so definitely can do it. They make tons of those, like the rib worm and everything, so it's definitely possible. Next one I uh, did was the swim bait version of that. So this is kind of his idea is having these ribs here. So I uh, made that a little bit more fusiform, put a big swim bait uh, paddle tail on there, round tail, so it's got edges on both sides. I think this one will work pretty well. I uh, don't see why not. A little tough maybe to get the hook all the way through there. You might have to drop shot it. Uh, and I think that's kind of what he designed this for is more of a drop shot type situation. So I don't really see any problem with that. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, then the third one was this big hands craw that we designed up. Uh, I just like designing crawfish. It's just fun to do crayfish depending on where you're at in the country. I like putting these on uh, my baits lately. These just kind of catch water a little bit gives the the paddles or the pincers move a little bit more so kind of like a big paddle hands and then ribbing uh the bait of the body of the craw i just like doing that it just looks kind of nice yeah not much to say here fun one yeah fun to do then the last one we got done in the hour here was uh the grub tail this is just a simple design i mean everybody and their mother it's been fishing these forever. This is a little bit of elongated body, a little bigger overall. I think this would probably have some decent action in the water just because I like really funky looking tails. I don't like the normal grub tails, so I think this would probably have a decent amount of action in the water. This one might be fun to turn into something. I don't know. If you guys liked any of these baits, please uh, leave a comment down below. You know, Maybe there's a chance that we turn these into something real in the future so if that is something you like leave a comment down below i wouldn't be opposed to turning some of these into something uh even though they only took about you know 15 to 20 minutes to do so yeah i don't know if you do leave a comment down below so there you have it did cheat a little bit on the first two had sketches uh and they were technically somebody else's thought up designs but i figured why not try to sneak those into a video anyway you can check out the subreddit uh, below I will post pictures of those and then what they look like afterwards so uh, that is kind of the spirit behind the subreddit so if you're interested in that kind of thing please check it out would appreciate it just started that a little while ago I think it's kind of cool to interact with the community already got people posting stuff on there that blowing my mind doing really cool stuff uh, making really cool molds out of silicone and stuff so I'm just glad to see that we're kind of coming together as a community it's pretty cool so I thought, why not uh, put a little bit designing out there in the in the space again? Because I haven't done that in a while. So, hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, maybe consider subscribing. 
love to have you check out all this other social media i got no problem there i'm posting all the time on that stuff so if i'm not posting on here i might be there um and yeah so it's winter hopefully uh, you're at a place that either has ice fishing or doesn't have any ice but the fish are still there so hopefully you're out there doing some fishing or doing some making anyway in your house like i am so not a huge fan of ice fishing this time of the year it's kind of slow fish don't really bite so been doing a lot of making so yeah hopefully see you on the next one and until uh until then keep your amps up and your filament dry did i not just do that i just tried that and it freaked out why would i do it again why would you do that again elian because i'm an idiot that's why